Right now, what is the one thing you are most reluctant to give up? For most people, that would be their cell phone. Smartphones are more common than ever, and the services and apps they provide keep expanding. What services or applications are there that 4G can't support? Most people have a few ready answers. 4K or 8K video, augmented reality, and Internet of Vehicles come to mind. These new services and applications are the latest challenges faced by today's operators. These challenges call for 5G. So, what are the main challenges? In today's lesson, the answers to this question will be revealed. The first challenge is data volume increasing. This explosive growth in data means that 5G needs to be much faster than 4G. Consider trying to download an 8 gigabyte HD movie on a 3G network with a download rate of 14 megabytes per second. We would need 70 minutes to download the movie. Maybe go take a nap while it downloads. With 4G, the download rate can reach 150 megabytes. It only takes about 7 minutes, but that's still enough time to grab a cup of coffee. Once we have 5G, which gives us up to 10 gigabytes per second, we could download the entire movie in just 6 seconds. By the time you've opened the download folder, it's already ready to watch. The higher speed that 5G offers means a better experience for users. Let's consider another broadband killer, virtual reality. In recent years, VR has been a real hot topic. Numerous internet providers and tech giants have all been focused on VR. The range of VR applications keeps expanding. New applications are constantly being discovered in the entertainment, education and tourism industries. At the 2017 Mobile World Congress, most of the big automakers were all using VR to display their latest products and solutions to provide a more immersive experience. VR lets you feel like you are really driving the car. Streaming VR is already in use at conferences and exhibitions, and more and more VR services are coming. Services you can use to present your own products and solutions. A lot of spectrum resources needed to support these products and services. VR video will consume a tremendous amount of bandwidth. From the table, we can see that VR requires higher speed and more bandwidth than 4G can provide. VR needs the speed and the bandwidth of 5G. The second big challenge is the number of connections that will be needed. With the advent of smart cities, there has been a huge need for ever more connectivity. In addition to person-to-person -person connection, we now have demand for person-to-thing and thing-to-thing -thing connections. Our water meters, gas meters, street lamps and more are all getting connected. With all of these things demanding internet connections, even though 4G can offer thousands of connections for each cell, that is not enough for a world where everything is connected. In the age of 5G, there will be nearly a million connections for every square kilometer. Connectivity will seep into every area of our lives. The internet will connect everything, creating an internet of things. From person to person, to person to thing, and thing to thing, all of society will be transformed by mobile connectivity. Society will become vastly more efficient. We will see a 5G world with up to 100 billion connections, a world where everything we use is connected. Our shoes, our watches, and our glasses, the transfer boxes, and the robots in the factory. This connectivity will be invaluable to the industrial sector. The third big challenge is the wide range of applications. Take autonomous driving, for instance. V2X-based driverless cars need to be able to react quickly to changing road conditions. They need an internet with extremely low latency. Whether it's automated driving or reacting to the things around the vehicles, they need the lowest latency possible. So there are high demands on low latency. Let's take a look at the technical specifications. The latency on a 4G network is less than 50 milliseconds, about half that of a 3G network. But driverless cars need latency to be far lower than that. Consider a driverless car running on a 4G network while traveling at 100 kilometers per hour. If the car detects an obstacle, another 1.6 meters would speed by before the car turned on the brakes. On a 5G network traveling at the same speed, the car would activate its braking system before having traveled even another 3.3 centimeters, with the system preventing a crash as well as ABS. 5G network latency can be as low as one millisecond. That's a response time 50 times faster than with 4G. So, in summary, we know that mobile networks are facing the challenges of a vastly increased demand for data, vastly more connections, and more application scenarios. 
mobile broadband capacity will need to increase 1,000 fold and we will need hundreds of billions of connections and machine to machine communications will create new requirements like the need for extremely low latency. These are the challenges we face. These are the challenges faced by 5G. In this lesson, we discussed future applications and services, and we summarized the main three challenges that we face. Massive data, massive connectivity, and diverse application scenarios. This brings us to the end of this lesson.